In the early 20th century, the desolate landscapes of New Mexico yielded a discovery that would redefine our understanding of prehistoric life. Paleontologists unearthed a scattering of bones so massive they hinted at an animal of unprecedented scale. These weren't just any fossils, they belonged to a new species of titanosaur, a group of long-necked dinosaurs known for their colossal size. The discovery sent ripples through the scientific community. It was like finding pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, each fragment whispering tales of a creature that dwarfed even the largest land animals alive today. The initial discovery made in the Ojo Alamo formation included vertebrae, limb bones and ribs. Each piece was carefully excavated, documented and transported to the museum for further study. As more bones emerged from the earth, a clearer picture began to form. This wasn't just a large dinosaur, it was a behemoth, a titan among titans. Scientists were on the verge of revealing a creature that had once roamed the earth, a giant that would soon capture the imaginations of people worldwide. The task of naming a new species is never taken lightly. It's a process steeped in scientific rigor, a delicate balance of description and tribute. In the case of this colossal dinosaur, the honor fell upon paleontologist Henry Fairfield Osborne. Osborne recognized the magnitude of the discovery. In 1922, he christened it, forever linking this behemoth to the Ojo Alamo Formation and the San Juan Basin of New Mexico. The name translates to Alamo Lizard, a nod to the geological formation where its remains were first unearthed. The species name further anchors the to its place of origin, specifically the San Juan Basin. This naming convention ensures that the dinosaur's identity remains intertwined with the unique geological and paleontological context of its discovery. Reconstructing an extinct animal from fragmented bones is a meticulous task, fraught with challenges and uncertainties, but with each carefully placed bone, the sheer scale of became increasingly apparent. Estimates suggest that stretched over 100 feet from snout to tail, a length equivalent to three school buses parked end to end. Its neck, a marvel of biological engineering, likely reached heights of over 30 feet, allowing it to browse the highest treetops. Its weight, a testament to its massive bulk, is estimated to have been in the range of 70 to 80 tons. That's heavier than a Boeing 737 passenger plane. A staggering thought that brings the immense scale of into perspective. To put this into perspective, an adult, a predator often depicted as the apex of dinosaur size, would have been dwarfed by a mature. The difference in size is almost comical, akin to a dog standing next to an elephant. It's a humbling reminder of the diversity and grandeur of prehistoric life. Belonged to a group of dinosaurs known as titanosaurs, a clade within the larger sauropod lineage. Sauropods, with their long necks, long tails, small heads and four thick legs, are instantly recognizable and they include the largest animals ever to walk the earth. Among this elite group of giants holds a prominent position. While not the absolute largest sauropod ever discovered, its size places it comfortably among the top contenders. It shared its world with other massive herbivores, engaging in a constant competition for resources and survival. Despite their size, titanosaurs-like were gentle giants. They were herbivores, their days spent grazing on vast quantities of vegetation to fuel their massive bodies. Their long necks allowed them to access a wide range of plant life, from low-lying ferns to the tops of tall conifer trees. Section 5, Classifying a Titanosaur. Within the sprawling family tree of dinosaurs finds its place among the titanosaurs, a diverse group of sauropod dinosaurs that thrived during the Cretaceous period. This classification is based on a number of shared anatomical features, particularly in their skeletons. Titanosaurs, as their name suggests, were titans among dinosaurs, often reaching incredible sizes. With its estimated length of over 100 feet, exemplifies this gigantism, showcasing the evolutionary trend towards larger body sizes in this lineage. One of the defining characteristics of titanosaurs, including, was their robust skeletons. These dinosaurs possessed incredibly thick bones necessary to support their massive weight. The vertebrae, ribs and limb bones of were particularly robust, a testament to the immense forces they had to withstand. This difference in bone structure reflects the evolutionary adaptations of these creatures for supporting their enormous bulk. 
Section 6, a fortress of bone and spike, the Skeltonov was more than just a framework for its massive body, it was a testament to the evolutionary pressures that shaped this giant. Its bones were exceptionally thick and robust, designed to withstand the immense stresses of carrying its enormous weight. One of the most intriguing features of was the presence of armoured plates, called osteoderms, embedded in its skin. These bony plates scattered across its back and flanks provided an additional layer of protection, potentially against predators. Imagine these bony plates like armoured tiles, creating a formidable defence against any attacker. The vertebrae, the building blocks of its spine, were particularly impressive. These solid bones provided extra strength and support, crucial for an animal of its size. This combination of robust bones, armoured plates and a powerful build made a formidable presence in its ecosystem. Section 7, Reign of Giants. The late Cretaceous period, the final chapter in the Age of Dinosaurs, was a time of ecological upheaval. Continents were shifting, climates were changing, and new ecosystems were emerging. Amidst this dynamic backdrop shared its world with a cast of fascinating creatures, including one of the most iconic predators of all time. Contrary to popular depictions, and were not contemporaries in the strictest sense, while their existence overlapped in the grand scheme of geologic time, they lived in different parts of North America, roamed the southern regions while dominated the north. However, the possibility of these two titans crossing paths in the border regions of their respective territories is an intriguing one. The ecological dynamics between these two iconic dinosaurs continue to fascinate paleontologists. The tail of, like that of many sauropods, was more than just a counterbalance to its long neck. It was a formidable weapon capable of delivering bone-crushing blows. This whip-like appendage, composed of dozens of vertebrae, tapered to a slender tip, allowing for rapid and powerful swings. The muscles at the base of the tail were incredibly powerful, capable of generating enough force to deter even the largest predators. Imagine the ground shaking as and swung its tail in defense, a display of raw power that could send predators running for cover. This tail wasn't just a defensive weapon, it may have also played a role in communication. Sauropods may have used their tails to produce loud cracking sounds, perhaps as a warning to rivals or a way to attract mates. Section 9, a late appearance. One of the most intriguing aspects of is its relatively late appearance in the fossil record. While most sauropod lineages had declined or disappeared by the late Cretaceous, titanosaurs like experienced a resurgence. This late flourishing of titanosaurs, particularly in North America, suggests that they were particularly well suited to the changing environmental conditions of the late Cretaceous. Their ability to adapt to new habitats and food sources may have contributed to their success. The fact that thrived millions of years after other sauropod groups had vanished speaks volumes about its evolutionary resilience. It was a dinosaur that defied the odds, a testament to the enduring power of natural selection. Section 10. The world of step back in time 70 million years to the late Cretaceous period and imagine the world that inhabited North America, then divided by a vast inland sea, was a tapestry of lush forests, fertile floodplains and meandering rivers. Roamed the southern regions of this prehistoric continent, its massive bulk casting long shadows across the landscape. This region, known as Laramedia, was a land of abundant vegetation, providing ample sustenance for these enormous herbivores. The climate was warmer than today with lush forests dominated by conifers, ferns and cycads. These plants provided a rich source of nutrition for fueling its massive body. Imagine these gentle giants lumbering through ancient forests, their long necks reaching high into the canopy to browse on leaves. Section 11, Coexistence and Competition. In the vibrant ecosystems of late Cretaceous North America, coexisted with a fascinating cast of characters. These included other dinosaurs, both herbivores and carnivores, as well as a diverse array of reptiles, mammals and insects. Among the dinosaurs sharing its habitat were hadrosaurs or duck-billed dinosaurs, another group of large herbivores. These social animals likely roamed in herds, their distinctive crests used for display and communication. Imagine the sight of a herd of hadrosaurs passing by and 
their calls echoing through the prehistoric forests. Smaller predators like raptors also inhabited this ecosystem. While they posed little threat to a fully grown, they may have targeted eggs or young individuals. Section 12. The Last of the Titans as the Cretaceous period drew to a close, a cataclysmic event would forever alter the course of life on Earth. The impact of a massive asteroid, estimated to be six miles wide, triggered a chain reaction of global devastation, marking the end of the dinosaur era. One of the last surviving sauropods would have witnessed the cataclysm unfold. The skies would have darkened as dust and debris choked the atmosphere and wildfires raged across the land, transforming once lush ecosystems into barren wastelands. The extinction of, along with its dinosaur kin, marked the end of an era. These magnificent creatures, which had ruled the Earth for over 180 million years, vanished, leaving behind only their fossilized remains as a testament to their former glory. Today, the legacy of lives on, inspiring awe and wonder in all who learn its story.